it going guys? This is Eric with the Rain Survival and today we're going to be looking at this thing, camp stove. I recently purchased this camp stove and uh, used it last weekend on my camping trip. Excellent stove, let's take a look at it. There's the stove here, it's called Free Soldier. Heavy duty Velcro in the front here. In the back it's got Molly webbing. You got the button straps, very heavy duty. Very difficult to pull off. Stays on nice and secure. Now this didn't come with this red bandana, I just wrapped it. Alright, so this thing's actually multifunctional. So here's one of the side pieces here, as you can see. It's a little ashy, that's why I wrapped it in the bandana. It's got a cheese grater. On this side here, it's got a ruler. It doesn't have any numbers on it. It's got a saw blade. And this one's actually sharp as a knife. So it's actually multifunctional. You can prepare your food, prepare your wood before you get the fire going. So let's set this thing up. When I first set it up, uh, it was really flimsy, but after using it the first time, it stays intact pretty well. So when I grab the pieces, you want to grab the pieces that have the little hooks on it because that's going to keep it more stable. So if you're trying to move it or something like that, grab the two pieces that uh, have the little hooks on it because it'll be more stable. So that's the whole stove there. You can probably use this to loosen and tighten some bolts. I'm not exactly sure what size they are, but it's basically the same shape. That's to feed the fire again, like I said. Again, both sides have the grooves here. Not exactly sure what that is. Maybe a bottle opener. Yeah, I believe that would be the bottle opener. And then this is a can opener. That's the cheese grater. So let's actually take this saw and the blade and test it out, see how well it works. So let's try the blade. I'm just going to use it to kind of scrape the bark and see what happens. Let's try this one. This one's fairly alive. It just recently fell. So the blade isn't really that sharp. I mean, in a situation where this was the last resort, you could definitely use it. So, I mean, it cuts, but it's not going to make feather sticks or nothing. <laughs> it could make curls. Better than nothing. So, it's got the knife there. Let's try the little saw here. So this is kind of difficult to hold. I'd recommend using something to hold it. And if you got big enough hands, wrap your hands around it. <laughs> Let's try it like that. And I don't think the saw is that great. No. Saw isn't that great, so let's try the rope cutting. I'm just gonna wrap my piece of rope here around it. Nope, not that great. Nope, not effective. So saw not effective, rope cutting not effective. Cheese grater looks fine. Looks like the one in my kitchen. <laughs> Ruler looks fine. The knife works. I could take this home sharpen it up if I want to. So let's try the stove, the actual function it's for. So I'm gonna get this fire going. What I like to do is get a, a stick about the size of my finger and it's got these nice convenient holes on the side and I can actually brace the fire up off the ground this way. So I'll stick that stick in there just like that. Very simple. And it, it did rain here yesterday so we'll see how this lights. And then I just place the sticks in I like to place them in the back, so when I place my tinder in there, I can place more in the front afterwards. And the 
key thing to using a wood stove like this is see how I have it braced up off the ground on these rocks? This way air can get underneath. And also, coals do fall through the bottom holes there sometimes, so you want to be careful with the area below it. So let's go over a couple pros and cons. Uh, we'll do cons first. It weighs a little over a pound. So for some people that's a little bit too heavy for a camp stove. Um, the saw doesn't work and the rope cutter doesn't work. So those are a couple cons. Uh, depending on the type of wood that you burn, I'm using pine it's loaded with sap. It's going to create the soot-like material, especially if you have a pot on top. So it is going to get messy. My hands are a little dirty. Uh, when I first set it up, it was a little bit difficult. It seemed a little bit flimsy. After the first use, it came uh, together nicely. It seemed more uniform. Pros are, you know, you're cooking off the ground, you're creating a less impact on the environment, and you're using a lot less fuel. If I had a big open fire, this wood would burn a lot more rapidly and it would be difficult to create a bed of coals. You have a nice contained area where you're not going to spread the fire and it's uh, easy to maintain. Also, it has multiple different functions. I do like the cheese grater. Now I can have shredded cheese. I can make some tacos out in the woods. So that's definitely a good advantage. As you can see, it's got beautiful oxygen flow right now. There's no smoke at all. Uh, it's very well ventilated. Bracing everything up off the ground by putting that stick in the center is a key factor. Also bracing it up off the ground as well is a key factor. Also, it's extremely compact. The sheath is very versatile with the molly webbing. This is a high quality sheath in my opinion. I also, I took it out because I had to use it earlier, but I also keep a multi-tool in here. So if I do need to put stuff on and off the fire, I could do that as well. And I, as you saw, I wrapped it in the bandana just to, to keep it a little bit more clean when I'm ha handling it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of soot in my hands. But overall, it's a good stove. Um, it has a, the large mouth in the front that I showed you. Very easy to feed wood into it. It has the holes on the side. You can feed wood into it. Uh, very versatile in my opinion. And the big question, would I buy it again? Uh, if for some reason I lost the stove or I stepped on it and broke it for some reason, I would definitely buy it again. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of camp stoves. I had a coffee can stove that I used before and it was just too bulky and it's difficult to carry in my back. But now I got this thing, it's coming with me on all my trips. Comes in a nice compact sheath. Very versatile, great for cooking. I love the cheese grater. Can't wait to use that. <laughs> Hi Kyle, you all right? We got Kyle making a bed over here. We're leaving Kyle. So, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the views, comments, and support. I got the link in the description to purchase this stove if you're interested. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah!